right? Yes. So I'm on a farm in this one. Pretty big shift from my last video, but we're trying something, okay? We're trying something. I just, I want to post videos that I want to post and I am I think you're okay with that. And if you're not, just know I'm deeply insecure about that, okay? I'm worried that you're gonna leave me. So uh, to give you some context about what's happening here, for a weekend, I went up to Wisconsin and I basically just volunteered for my mom's friend who owns a farm. I had requested my mom reach out to her and see if we could come and stay there and I could just do some farm chores. Anything she needed done, I wanted to do it. I've taken an interest in farming, especially lately. I've always wanted to raise chickens. Something snapped in me and I said, it's gonna be going ahead and being the time for farming now. Yes. So further context is I am actually volunteering. Well, now I'm working. I started as a volunteer. Now I'm working part-time on a farm here in Illinois. Different chores. There's no animals I'm taking care of on this farm. It's mostly like vegetable farming. So here on this farm in Wisconsin, where this vlog is filmed, uh, I was doing different work than I was used to. So the first day that I arrived, I basically was just being taught everything at once that I needed to know for the weekend of me working on the farm. So here's the farm. Enjoy. Walk around them this way to kind of herd them to that way. Okay. But by now all the chickens will come in and they're, they'll be on their roof. In the evening, I um, need to be about like this much. Okay of the scratch grain and I just put it in these dog dishes. Chickens can't see in the dark so once they're up to roost they won't come down um, but the ducks can see better in the dark so they'll snack on this stuff so I just don't get anything. Uh, yeah, I just gave them that one at night. At night, if it was in the morning. Well, those I just fill up their feeders because they're kind of self feed. Okay. Um, and then this is the mealworms, which are just dried mealworms. Okay. And which is everybody's favorite snack. I usually throw about three or four handfuls of this out. Mittens, come here. Come here, girl. So they <laughs> Now when, you know, when the chicken get out of your hand, it's much more of a peck, right? so don't be surprised by that. Look at the time. Yeah. Um, with my horses and with the donkeys, I've done natural horsemanship training, so it's a very, um, you kind of play with the animals. So this is where they come in from the doggy door. Okay. Well, only, or... the only one who comes in here is Bo Peep. She's my OG chicken. She's four years old now. Um, so here's a pink egg. <laughs> wow, that's gorgeous. Uh, you can add that to your collection. Aww. Hi, sweetie. I know you want some arms. You guys want to come in and say hello? Come on. Yeah. So, Hi. um, so natural horsemanship thing. If you want them to come to you, mm -hmm. you need to bend forward, smile, hat, nice okay, face. Okay, yes, they can see. And you see. do, like, call them forward. Don't always like getting their face pet first. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to throw, um, two flakes of hay in their hay net. So this is, um, a bale of hay. Well, it's usually a little bit longer. And then the bales, when they're baled, come apart. You'll see it come apart, kind of naturally divide. Mm -hmm. So each one of these is called the flake. A, a flake. flake of hay. Got yeah. it. Like just shaking this is a, how a mother horse would communicate. So when I'm walking them and I want them to keep walking, I'm doing this to have a tail. Come on, girls. Okay. Let's go. Whoosh. <laughs> but if we take them for a walk, we'll use the carrot stick and and we'll make them walk with the stick.
I'm cleaning buckets and I'm cleaning the barn. Not much more to say on that. Sort of scared I'm going to do something wrong somehow and mess up the entire flow of the farm. Which I know would be very difficult to do. Yeah. Okay, now it's barn cleaning. Sorry, now it's barn cleaning time. So I've got to basically sweep up cobwebs, extra hay, just like dust around, that's what I was told to do. And there's sort of a cat area, which you'll see. And I'm sort of in charge of clearing out the cat area and making it lovely and gorgeous again. everywhere but out the door. So I've pushed all the dust into the corners of the room now. So the wonderful people that we are staying with on their farmhouse also live on the property and they have a small gym that is free to use or so I've been invited to use. So I think I'm going to go use that now. I'm feeling exhausted by the way. I just worked for like not even three hours this morning, but I am, I, I guess I didn't sleep enough because I am spent. I feel like I could fall asleep at any second, so I'm hoping that maybe going to the gym will like refresh me or something, like I'll get a second. I love it when a giant flake falls out of my hair. What was that? I'm hoping to get a second wind here. I think I'm supposed to go and see some dairy cows on the neighboring farm via this farmer who is friends with that farmer. Don't really know when that's happening or if I'm seeing cows today, but I, there was talk of baby cows specifically. So, watch this space. <laughs> Okay, so it's time for morning barn chores, which is basically just letting the animals out, putting food in their buckets, making sure they have water, filling the hay, etc. Who am I? Like, oh, just doing the morning barn chores. Okay, that's ducks and chickens. Now it's time for donkeys. Hi all. It's 
just amazing how efficient this all is. I, I, yeah. I am in disbelief, and it's so new for you guys. Yeah, like these, those fans we haven't even turned on yet. Those will go on in the summer. But I didn't even realize, like, he said that the curtain and these fans, they're on an automatic system based on the temperature in here. It just knows when to turn on? Yeah, and like how far down the curtain goes. It knows for years you go to the farm shows. Shows I'm not a farmer. And... <laughs> I try to be a farmer. I grow my tomatoes every year and my corn. <laughs> <laughs> these screens, they tell you which cow's in there. That's their four quarters. So they'll tell you how much. Okay, that one's coming in. And then it'll hook up the milking, and then you can watch how much each quarter gives. And then when she's done, then it gives her a spray, like a, yeah, not an antibiotic spray, but like an antiseptic spray oh, okay. afterwards. And then they go back out. You know what I'm saying? This is the cat stall and I don't I got to be honest don't really even know where to begin with cleaning this I'm just gonna clear everything out and then sweep and I'd like to find something to clean the surfaces with but I'm not sure where that would be in the barn so we'll see so just opened up the chicken coop and we got two eggs Look at the shape of this one. I don't know if you can tell how oblong it is. It's quite oblong. Oh yeah, this one is smelly. Ooh. I think I need to put on my mask. I don't, I don't think that I should bring the camera in there because I think that cat poop dust is just going to gather on you. So that's not, you know, that's not ideal. Okay, I did a couple things off camera. I scrubbed the table that was in the cat pen. I scrubbed the bowl. Just sort of a lot of scrubbing action happening. Now I'm going to take the dust and litter and hay and um, pee and poop and, you know, kind of all that deposit it in the pile of shit. Yeah. On second thought, there was actually a lot of stuff in there that I don't think it should be um, put in like a compost pile. So I've just thrown it in the trash. They're wondering why I've put them behind that fence. And that's just because I need to access the dumping pile more easily. I think I can open that back up now that I don't need the dumping pile.